Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Lily. I'm so grateful that you are here today. We have a q and A. I'm excited. I like to keep it raw and real here. So I started the camera, my iPhone, and I'm not going to touch it. No edits. I am so thankful and so excited for our little community we're building. I have lots of new music on the way for you guys. And I just, I know you already know, but I want to tell you again, I'm always here for you. We are doing life together. Always here for you if you need it. Um, never forget that. And let's dive into some questions. I asked you guys on Twitter and if you are not following me on Twitter, you are missing out because we have a great little community over there. We got memes, we have exciting things. We share good music that we like. We make playlists for each other. So follow my Twitter it is down below as well as like my Spotify, my TikTok, everything down below, but follow it because there's lots of little fun things and sneak peeks that I'm dropping on kind of each one. So you can put the Easter eggs together. Anyways, um, let's dive into some questions. Okay, first one is from Ro. Love you, girl. And she says, tell me three things I like about myself. I love my smile. I had braces for like ever. I did regular braces when I was younger. And then I had regular braces again. And then I had Invisalign for two years. So I love smiling. <laughs> it just makes me happy. Like when I'm sad, if I smile or I watch like something, a video that makes me laugh, it makes you feel good when you smile. I love my hair. I love the color of my hair. It's kind of crazy now. It's in a crazy ponytail. I was dancing. I was dancing around my apartment alone like a crazy person because why not? And I also do love my, I love my smile. I love this. I love my, um, I love my neck. I love my, I have a dancer neck. I dance for like um, my like neckline, I guess. I have a, I did ballet for a really long time. And so I feel like I like have good posture. <laughs> or something like that. Um, anyways, how am I feeling today? I'm feeling good. I was feeling a little weird, a little sad, but ultimately I just tried to, try to turn everything towards a positive. Like if I'm feeling really tired, I just use that as like, okay, I'm feeling tired, but now I have time. Now this next couple of hours, I'm gonna use to rest, to recharge, um, to get excited. It's easy to get stuck in a feeling, but a lot of times I let myself like feel it for a little bit. And then it's like, okay, you felt it, get it out. Let's go. Life is short. Time is fleeting. Go do something that makes you feel good today. Um, another question is, when was the last time I cried? Oh, I cried this morning when I was listening to the songs off this new EP because oh, they because it's a really important story to me and I'm so excited. The story of it came together so well. And um, I'm really grateful. EP slash album. There's actually eight tracks. That's I have not, not told anybody that. Moment of silence for that. Yeah, there's eight tracks. Anyways, <laughs> my most recent happy memory um, would probably be like right currently right now, going on TikTok, having a TikTok go viral. And it's like, my whole intention wasn't trying to have to like, have a TikTok go viral. Like that wasn't why I started music. I've been doing music forever and I just started sharing the process and like it feels really good to know because I always knew that other people felt this way but it feels really good to like actually have the opportunity to reach other people's ears. So that's super cool and makes me feel really loved. Um, the next question is, what is your advice for young musicians trying to make vulnerable songs like you? Write exactly what you're going through. Just be who you are. I'm telling you, when you, the second you are who you are, that's when things will start to happen because the thing is, you are the only person like you. There's nobody with your story. There's nobody with your name. There's nobody with your voice. Embrace it. I know it's hard, but embrace all the things that you don't like about yourself or the things that you're like, oh, people make fun of me about this. Embrace it, okay? I'm telling you that. Embrace it. Now you're going to go embrace it. Um, next question. Favorite season of the year. Oh, it always changes, but I love fall. I do love fall. I love, I love getting to wear like, jeans and, and boots and like a little sweater while I sip on hot coffee because fun fact about me, I am not a big iced coffee drinker. I drink it, but I don't love it. I've always been a hot, hot coffee girl, hot tea, but I love putting on red because I feel like red is just the perfect fall album. Walking around with the, with the trees changing, chef's kiss. Um, the next question, can you give us a spoiler of the new EP? You all been getting all the spoilers. But um, I just told you that big, that big surprise that there's gonna be an eighth track. So exciting, exciting. Um, tell us the vibe of my fourth track. Um, Night Vibey, Night Vibey. My favorite song off Fearless. Oh my God, that's so hard to pick. Fearless, definitely. Like Fearless, The Way I Loved You Forever and Always. You Belong With Me. 
Literally, that's four. I can't even pick. I can't even narrow it down. I have four. They're also good. Um, I have not heard. I heard um, Roses, I believe, from Blackpink. I need to listen to the rest of them. But um, no, I need to listen to the rest. That's been on my to-do list. I have a bu- I have a playlist with like all the songs you guys send me that I need to listen to. Um, next question is, what do I recommend um, to do when going through a bad moment or just feeling kind of down? I recommend feeling your feelings, and then listening or doing something that you love. I was going to say something that pumps you up, but do whatever it is you love. If you love if you love going for a walk with your music in your headphones by yourself, listening to sad music, do that. Even though it seems counterintuitive, doing something that you love is going to make you feel good. Um, like for me, sometimes I really like listening to sad music. Sometimes listening to sad music actually makes me feel better. So I'll go put my headphones in, listen to sad music, and then I feel better. But I would just say listen to yourself, do something you love, whether it be drinking a cup of tea, getting your favorite ice cream, watching your favorite television show, or like calling a friend, listening to my music, (laughs) whatever it is, do something that you like, okay? And don't feel guilty. It's okay not to be okay. We all have those days, but guess what? It won't last forever. (laughs) Um, Next question is, what are my goals for this year? I really love your music. Love you so much. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Um, My goals for this year are just to continue to release a music continue to release music and music that I'm proud of and that I love and that I feel is authentic, continue to grow um, in terms of like production, do more out there things um, and continue to meet you guys and hopefully play some shows and build my team. Hopefully a manager will join on this year and um, we'll start meeting with different labels and everything. But yeah, never stopping, grind never stops. Whatever your dreams are, keep going for them. You're the only one who can make them happen. So keep doing it. I'm telling you, no one's going to do anything for you. Keep doing it, and you will attract the right people that you need on your team. Um, Do I have a morning routine? No, because I have no normal schedule being a musician. It's kind of all over the place, but every morning I do have, like, a skincare routine. I do love drinking tea. I do love going for walks. I... I I don't know. It it varies when I go for walks. I find that sometimes in the summer I'll do morning walks, um, and then in the fall I like to do evening walks when it's, like, cozy, you know? I don't know. It really just depends. Um, let's see. How would I describe the next EP in just one word? Oh my god, that's so hard. I would say reminiscent. Reminiscent, yes. Um, what's my ideal weekend? My ideal, ooh, the lighting's changing. You guys are, the sun is going in and out behind the clouds. My ideal weekend would kind of be probably waking up, getting to sleep in, getting a, getting a nice cup of coffee, maybe seeing a friend for lunch. I'm definitely an introvert, so just keeping it chill. I like to prep for the, the week, so I like to go over song ideas or go over like my to-do list. I love reading books. I would love to be able to stay in bed all day and have like the focus to read a book. I love reading fiction books. If you have book recommendations, please comment them because I'm always looking for new books. Um, What is my favorite zodiac sign? I don't know. I feel like I like them all. They're all different. Everybody's different too. Also, it's like you have your sun sign, you have your moon and your rising. So there's so many, but I'm a Pisces. So maybe I'm biased towards Pisces. (laughs) Um, Is there an independent artist who I'd want to collab with? Not totally sure. Um, Someone who's super independent, Um, but I do want to collab with Fletcher because she was independent for a while and I love her, her and her team, how they like, she ended up getting like, um, really good deal and really good ownership and creative control because she pushed so hard. I listened to Fletcher back in like 2014. War Paint was my jam. Live Young Die Free was my like repeat. I remember I have proof. I screenshotted it and I of like on my Spotify because it was in my favorites and it was like 2014. And, um, I just love her. And I think I just, I want to, we both have red hair. We're both Pisces. Like, I think we need to make it happen somehow, but Yes, so those are the questions from this little Q&A. Thank you for watching. I want you to know that you are so loved. I'm looking at you right now. You are so loved. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You are so special. I'm so thankful for you. Thank thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to share this new music with you. You have no idea. I love you so much. Have the best day, night, morning ever. You are amazing. See you soon.